By the way, I have a bad news for you, but there is a good news too. Hello everyone, I'm back with my another video lesson for you guys in today's today's video is going to be a tutorial video so I by the way I have a bad news for you but there is a good news too so without any further ado let's get started okay so the bad news is that a VST host for uh, that I told you that before you know is, is the alternative of RTX voice um, is not uh, is not free anymore okay it has become donationware which means that uh, you have to pay if you want to get their services if you want to continue their services you must have to pay now the thing is that I have come up with a new so software a new alternative um, one of them is really uh, that good, okay, but uh, one of them is okay. You can still use it for your online conferences and also for your online meetings. So let's begin and uh, let's come to over a screen. Let me try to make it a bit smaller here and let me put it down here. Okay. So now let's come to your screen and as you can see that the software I'm going to tell you is Voice Meter Banana. Voice Meter, uh, you know, actually I'm using this Voice Meter Banana right now and honestly speaking, it's really a wonderful software. I mean, if you, if you, you know, try to use it, you will feel that it's really a nice one. You can easily adjust your bass in that, you can make some echo as well and uh, lots of things. Uh, so how do you do basically first you have to download uh, the virtual audio cable uh, This one the driver basically if you're using Windows then go for this one if you're using Mac then you can uh, download the Mac version now the once it is downloaded and, and installed in your computer then simply just download uh, voice meter banana okay you can install it or you can download the zip version it's totally up to you okay so once it is downloaded and installed on your computer and you have already restarted it just open it and click on this one the left click by the way you have to left click on that and then choose your microphone here my microphone is uh, Samsung QTU so I chose this and uh, then you basically have to adjust it according to your own requirement. I have set it to minus 10.8 dB. Um, it's totally up to you. I mean, if you like uh, it uh, to increase it, you may, but then it will catch some more background noises. So I have set it to minus 10.8 dB. It's up to you. You can set it whatever you like. And then you can also set your base there. I mean, this, um, if you point it to here, this red one, if you point it to here, your base will be higher. Okay, if you point it to here, then the, your base will be lower. It will give you some crispy sound, you know, if, you, if the base is here. And it can also give you some echo if you want. You can, if you want an echo on, in your voice, then you can use this function as well. Now, uh, once it is function, and by the way, you have to use the how, uh, hardware output as well. You can choose cable, uh, the one that you already installed in your computer, the ca the virtual audio cables. Okay, you can choose that, and uh, yeah, you're all done. So what you have to do then, then go to your sound settings, okay, and make it your um. Yeah, so then go to recording, so then make it your default device, your default audio device, okay? Your main microphone is here, your uh, voice meter output is here, just make it default and you're all done, okay? This is the first software I talked about. Now, the second software is our own OBS. 
Honestly speaking, OPS is also a very good software, especially when you're streaming on the internet. If you want to reduce all the background noises, then it does a better job than uh, than Voice Meter Banana. But there is a little bit downside here that when you use OBS and you try to connect it to your Zoom with the help of NDI, NDI, um, uh, you know, some sort of software maybe. So when you connect it with NDI, I can show you what the NDI is. This is the NDI. If you're connected with that, you can easily find it on Google. You can download it. If you connect it through this uh, system, so what happens basically, you know, you have some delays. Which means sometimes your voice, why, why there is delay? Because it is processing your voice. Okay? So your voice has been processed. That's why there is a little bit of delay when it goes to Zoom and then it goes to your uh, the, the person whom you're talking to. That, that usually produces a delay, which that is the reason why I sometimes don't use it for my Skype meetings or Zoom meetings because there is a little bit of delay. But if you're uh, streaming on the internet, if you're, uh, if you're a gamer, if you're an online English teacher and you're teaching on YouTube, then OBS can be amazing choice for you. Just download OBS and then right click here and then add, add your audio input device. And if you want to add your camera, then you can add it from here, from video capture device, okay? If you click on them, they will be shown here, okay? If this screen, if these sources and scenes are not uh, uh, available on your OBS, so what you have to do, you have to go to view and then click on docs and then you can easily ch uh, check them. If they are not checked, then just to click on them and it, they will be available on your OBS. So, and by the way, if you want to make your audio sound really good and really uh, crispy, so what you have to do, Go to filters. Uh, let me show you again. Go find your microphone, then click on the settings button, then go to filters. And here are all the filters you need. You need a compressor, you need a noise gate, and you need suppression. Uh, this is the compressor setting. If you want, you can choose the same settings. And this is the noise gate. I have set it to minus 20 dB for my microphone. And uh, then here is the noise suppression. I've, I'm, I'm using lower CPU usage. You can even try higher quality, but uh, my computer is not that good. You know, if your processor is really nice, then you can go with the higher quality. And this is the reason why, you know, it has a delay in your uh, in your sound because it processes your sound and then uh, bring it to uh, to Zoom or Skype. OK, so that was a uh, tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. If uh, you find the solution helpful, then please leave a like below. And if you have any further question, you can leave a comment below. So take care. See you. Bye bye.